Some years ago, I memorized G.K. Chesterton's poem Lepanto. It's about 150 lines long. It takes about 10 minutes to recite. I'm just going to recite it from memory. I couldn't find my, uh, my copy, my book with Lepanto in it, so I'm not really able to um, give it to somebody to check. That was going to be something I was normally going to do. Here we go for your, for your edification. Um, Lepanto by G.K. Chesterton. White founts falling in the courts of the sun, and the soldan of Byzantium is smiling as they run. There is laughter like the fountains in that face of all men feared. It stirs the forest darkness, the darkness of his beard. It curls the blood-red crescent, the crescent of his lips, for the inmost sea of all the earth is shaken with his ships. They have dared the white republics up the capes of Italy. They have dashed the Adriatic round the lion of the sea. And the Pope has cast his arms abroad for agony and loss and called the kings of Christendom for swords about the cross. The cold queen of England is looking in the glass. The shadow of the Valois is yawning at the mass. From evening isles fantastical rings faint the Spanish gun and the Lord upon the golden horn is laughing in the sun. Dim drums throbbing in the hills half heard. Only on a nameless throne a crownless prince has stirred where risen from a doubtful seat and half a tainted stall, the last knight of Europe takes weapons from the wall. The last and lingering troubadour to whom the bird has sung that once went singing southward when all the world was young. In that enormous silence, tiny and unafraid, comes up along a winding road the noise of the crusade. Strong gongs groaning as the guns boom far. Don John of Austria is going to the war. Stiff flags straining in the night blasts cold, in the gloom black purple, in the glint old gold. Torchlight crimson on the copper kettle drums, then the tuckets, then the trumpets, then the cannon, and he comes. Don John laughing in the brave beard curled, spurning up his stirrups like the thrones of all the world, holding his head up for a flag of all the free. Love light of Spain, hurrah, death light of Africa. Don John of Austria is riding to the sea. Mahound is in his paradise above the evening star, and Don John of Austria is going to the war. He moves a mighty turban on the timeless Uri's knees, his turban that is woven of the sunset and the seas. He shakes the peacock garden as he rises from his ease. He strides among the treetops and is taller than the trees, and his voice through all the garden is a thunder sent to bring black Azrael and Ariel and Ammon on the wing. Giants and the genii, multiplex of wing and eye, whose strong obedience broke the sky when Solomon was king. They rush in red and purple from the red clouds of the morn, from temples where the yellow gods shut up their eyes in scorn. They rise in green robes roaring from the green hells of the sea, where fallen skies and evil hues and eyeless creatures be. On them the sea valves cluster and the gray sea forests curl, Splash with a splendid sickness, the sickness of the pearl. They swell in sapphire smoke out of the blue cracks in the ground, and they gather, and they wonder, and give worship to Mahound. And he saith, Break up the mountains where the hermit folk may hide, and sift the red and silver sands, lest bone of saint abide, and chase the jowers flying night and day, not giving rest, for that which was our trouble comes again out of the west. We have set the seal of Solomon on all things under sun, of knowledge and of sorrow and endurance of things done, but a noise is in the mountains, in the mountains. And I know that voice that shook our palaces 400 years ago. It is he that saith not kismet. It is he that knows not fate. It is Richard, it is Raymond, it is Godfrey at the gate. It is he whose loss is laughter when he counts the wager worth. Put down your feet upon him that our peace be on the earth. For he heard drums groaning and he heard guns jar. Don John of Austria is going to the war. Sudden and still, hurrah, bolt from Iberia. Don John of Austria is gone by Alpilar. St. Michael's on his mountain in the sea roads of the north. Don John of Austria is girt and going forth. Where the gray seas glitter and the sharp tides shift and the sea folk labor and the red sails lift, he shakes his lance of iron and he claps his wings of stone. The noise has gone through Normandy the noise has gone alone. The north is full of tangled things, of texts and aching eyes, and dead is all the innocence of anger and surprise. And Christian killeth Christian in a narrow, dusty room. And Christian dreadeth Christ that hath a newer face of doom. And Christian hateth Mary that God kissed in Galilee. But Don John of Austria is riding to the sea, 
Don John calling through the blast and the eclipse, call, crying with the trumpet, with the trumpet of his lips, trumpet that saith, ha, domino gloria, Don John of Austria is shouting to the ships. King Philip's in his closet with the fleece about his neck, while Don John of Austria is armed upon the deck. The walls are hung with velvet that is black and soft as sin, and little dwarves creep out of it, and little dwarves creep in. He holds a crystal vial that has colors like the moon. He touches, and it tingles, and he trembles very soon. And his voice, his face is as a fungus of a leprous white and gray, like plants in the high houses that are shuttered from the day. And death is in the vial, and the end of noble work. But Don John of Austria has fired upon the Turk. Don John's hunting and his hounds have bayed. Booms away past Italy the rumor of his raid. Gun upon gun, ha ha. Gun upon gun, hurrah. Don John of Austria has loosed the cannonade. The Pope was in his chapel before day or battle broke, while Don John of Austria is hidden in the smoke. That hidden room in man's house where God sits all the year, the secret window whence the world looks small and very dear, he sees as in a mirror on the monstrous twilight sea the crescent of his cruel ships whose name is mystery. They fling great shadows forwards, making cross and castle dark. They veil the plumed lions on the galleys of St. Mark. And above the ships are palaces of brown, black bearded chiefs. And below the ships are prisons, where with multitudinous griefs, Christian captives, sick and sunless, all a laboring race repines, like a race in sunken cities, like a nation in the mines. They are lost like slaves that swat and in the skies of morning hung the stairways of the tallest gods when tyranny was young. They are countless, voiceless, hopeless, as those falling or fleeing on before the high king's horses in the granite of Babylon. And many a one grows witless in his quiet room in hell, where a yellow face peers inward through the lattice of his cell, and he finds his god forgotten, and he seeks no more a sign. But Don John of Austria has burst the battle line, Don John pounding from the slaughter-painted poop, purpling all the ocean like a bloody pirate's sloop, scarlet running over all the silvers and the golds, breaking of the hatches up and bursting of the holds, thronging of the thousands up that labor under sea, white for bliss and blind for sun and stunned for liberty. Viva Hispania, Domino Gloria, Don John of Austria has set his people free. Cervantes on his galley sets his sword back in the sheath while Don John of Austria rides homeward with a wreath. And he sees across a weary land, a straggling road in Spain, of which a lean and foolish knight forever rides in vain. And he smiles, but not as sultans smile, and settles back the blade, while Don John of Austria rides home from the crusade. Thank you.